free. So instead of it being an actual axle of a mill for grinding grain, now you have a central trunk of a tree, and the tree is actually something that fits into the same mythological concept that Santillana and Von Deschen are talking about. So what is the mythological concept? The myths always seem to describe some sort of spontaneous metamorphosis of the human being. But how does a human form spontaneously? Is it possible that the tree represents an even deeper understanding of how we were created as humans? According to my research, the tree of life depicts the frequency that DNA oscillates at. Everything is made out of a frequency or vibration. The wall behind me is all vibration. You could stick your hand through it if you were able to match that vibration. All genetics have a vibratory signature that can be picked up by technology and the secret space programs are able to use this type of frequency to detect different types of life just by their genetic frequency. If DNA has its own frequency, then how can it be manipulated and changed? We are gods, we forget this connection, and the more you understand that, the more you actually become aware of your position in life. I think that's where the, the interaction is between the tree of knowledge and the tree of life. One leads to the other. Now, if you follow that through in terms of genetics, the more you come to understand who you are as a temple and as a god, you begin to alter the chemical structure of your own DNA. It actually starts to alter who you are. And this is something that we now know in, in modern physics. So in a way, you can see as a tree of life because you, it means that you actually are altering your very own DNA. Your own thoughts and your own belief patterns do alter your DNA. Uh, it only takes a small change in the local electromagnetic environment to alter the information received by DNA.